Hello, everybody. This is the Shays Podcast. Welcome. Now, Ray, there's going to be something that's going to be on the up. There's going to be something that's going to... I'm feeling a disturbance. Yes, I'm, I'm feeling, feeling a feeling disturbance. A huge disturbance. I feel like a yeah. earthquake is coming or something. You know, I just every time I walk, I just I just feel it. I just feel the trembles. Yeah. But that thing is spring break. Spring break. Yeah, something's about to come, man. Something's but, about to come. But spring break where? You know, spring break. You know, in most places. Mm-hmm. You know, I know different states have spring break at different times. But what is what is the, <laughs> what are majority people? What are, what are they going to be doing? They're going to say, hey, Ray, uh, let's go to spring break. But not just spring break anywhere, but spring break in Miami. Oh, brother. But that's, that is where everybody's going to be at. That is the spot to go to. Not because it's unique, not because it's different, but because everybody's going to pull up there. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that just sounds such like a, I don't want to say loser mentality, but to me, that's what it kind of seems like. Hey, everyone's going to pull up to that party, bro. We got to go pull up there. We got to see what it's about. But unfortunately, uh, we have these low um, level thinking people who say, well, it's because y'all guys shouldn't judge other people for what they want to do because y'all can't pull up to a facility like that. No, 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 no. It's not about whether or not if we can or whether or not if we'll do something. It's the stupidity of it all. The reason why a lot of us wouldn't want to attend to an event like that. Spring break in Miami. Let's talk about it. Oh brother. I don't I don't I don't know where to start, man. Let's let's just start with the process. And you and I were talking mm-hmm. about this last night. So guys, let's let's break this down. So you're telling me that you guys have this plan to go to Miami for spring break. Now, I didn't even take this into perspective, but people have jobs, so they're probably prepping for that you know they're planning ahead of time so you're going and telling your boss that you're gonna have to miss this entire week because you're going to florida so you have that preparation of you buying the tickets and then you're telling all your homeboys and homegirls whatever hey we're gonna do this for spring break so i'm buying the tickets i'm getting new clothes i'm getting a haircut you know i'm freshening myself up to go to miami but for what reason hmm Excellent I'd, question. Yeah. Would you would you like yeah, to answer? Excellent question, Ray. Just the process in of itself is already like, yo, I, you know, as they like to say the phrase down bad. It's but you're down bad. Why? Because the question he just posed, why are you going over there for? There are really only two reasons for this regard is going to be targeting the men. One is for sex. Two is to get litty. But in the activity of getting drunk or smoking weed Toxicated, yep. slash party okay those are really the only two reasons or a combination of both fine okay so it is to have fun essentially that's really the overall idea that they have in their mind before they go to miami just as you said hey man i gotta go ahead and get a haircut i gotta go ahead and save up money as y'all are doing probably weeks before this um i gotta go ahead and work out a little bit more uh before spring break um, I got to go ahead and pack up my clothes and go on a flight to Miami, depending on where you're from, just so I can either do two things <laughs> to have sex or two to have fun while partying. Fucking you know, bravo, man. if this is really triggering you, <laughs> then perhaps you should reconsider your priorities. You should reconsider your priority. You should reconsider what is actually fulfilling in life to your soul. Because if this is a main thing that you were looking for this spring break, I would say that it is quite sad, frivolous, and meaningless. But uh, yes, uh, yes, right. They are going over there. Just really those two reasons. I mean, it's just for short-term gratification. I mean, what what else are you going to do over there? Maybe you hit a few spots, but what is your overall purpose? What is the underlying purpose of why you... Wanted to originally go there. It's for those two reasons that Ariel stated. Even some content creators go over there, but they could still be, you know, under the impression of wanting those original sure. two things that you mm-hmm. said with the content involved as well. Mm-hmm. But ultimately, it's just it's just shallow. You know, it's just you know yes. shallow things that human nature you know wants to experience, and they think they're missing out on some things. But in reality, it's just a this is happiness, and happiness to me is a very short-term thing. Yes, absolutely. And then they may bring up this, okay, well, what if some people always 
What are some people they want to go over there to visit family? There, yes, we know there are such things as gosh, exceptions. Gosh. Okay, so we understand that. Okay, but f as far as for the majority reason of why people want to attend Miami during the spring break is for meaningless, shallow reasons to have sex or to get litty. Now, uh, kind of taking us a, a little bit on a sharp turn, we can say this, or it's better for us to say this. What particular races do we see a lot during the spring break? <clears throat> hold on, hold on, guys. Hold on. Hold on. <clears throat> Let me charge it up. <sighs> Minorities. Minorities. Oh, man. <sighs> Why? <laughs> Why? Come on, guys. Now, look. They may say, oh, uh, hold on. Uh, you should be saying none. You're white. No, I'm not. <sighs> well, I mean, technically I am, you know, because I'm Hispanic, but whatever, okay? I grew up right with Mexicans and blacks, okay? Dallas, Texas. What's up? Now, it's just so, yes, we know there may be that dumb college girl in the mix, you know, that's just out to go ahead and have some fun as well. But for the majority of the time, and we see it all over the internet, it is the minorities that are causing, and I don't want to say the problems, but it is the no, minorities. The, no, they're causing the problems. <laughs> I'll, be the, I'll be the one that said, I'll be the bad guy. We're causing the problems for sure. It is the minorities, mostly Hispanics and blacks, that are engaging in stupid activities, and yet whenever we see other races, Asians, Indians, uh, uh, Tradcon, whites, um, other races that look at the minorities say, oh, look, there they go again, wanting to engage in stupid activities, such as what? Mere casual sex and getting intoxicated? We are looking towards that? I would say it is such a shallow, and I'll say it again, meaningless activity. It is. We should not look forward to that. Really. Y'all guys are going to work, work, work just to look forward to that of what you can do in the backyard. But hey, it's different because uh, I'm going to go ahead and see all the white biddies. And the and the pretty girls right. that I get to see. Yeah. You know, that I'm not going to talk to because I'm too scared anyway. You know, I just, as long as I can <laughs> glance at them, it's fine. That's true. That's true. As long as I can glance at them, it's fine. It's yeah. just, and then the overall process behind it, we, we didn't even get to the price to the point of when they're actually there but i couldn't even i couldn't imagine you know the the supposed you know rape cases or because i mean if you're intoxicated everybody's you know gonna let you in their apartment like oh my god where are you guys staying you know we're doing we're hitting up this spot after it's just a lot of it's just modern society you know it's it, it's right. like there's nothing really special about it right. in my eyes, but to other people, that's their entire world. That right. shows where your responsibilities and priorities are. Yeah, I, I just absolutely. I don't I don't understand it. And I want to go ahead and shut down this idea that men are going to have into having the audacity into believing that whenever they go to touch down to Miami, that they're going to go ahead and get some game and even get the box. Okay. Look, so let's look at this. You are about to engage in the sexual revolution. Okay, now, there is only a percentage of men that are, that are able to have the access to sex, right? There's only a small percentage of men who, are, who have the ability to have access to sex. Now, for the rest of the men, it's going to be very hard for them to do so. Why? Because they are not up in the status of that small percentage of men, meaning height, looks, money, all of the shallow reasons that a city girl is going to look towards to. Right. So, okay. So this man has good money. He is relatively tall. He's this and this and this. Right. Looking all at the shallow reasons, I'm going to go ahead and open myself up to him. But the rest of the men who I think they're average, I'm not going to go ahead and give myself up to them. So for the majority of you guys who may be thinking I'm going to go over there and try to experience this, most likely it's not going to work out for you. Only the small percentages, percentages of men. Now, unfortunately, since we know how minorities think, because we are that, we think, no, 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 I'm part of that uh, top dog. I'm sorry to break it to you. You may not be insofar as having the ability to have lots of casual sex, okay? So we need to go ahead and shut down, or we're here to go ahead and shut down that egotistical idea that you're going to go ahead and land some game. I'm telling you, homie, that may not be the case for Actually, you. Actually, I, I might shut down the spring break in Miami myself. I yes. might shut it down. We got it. We got to head over there. We got to shut it down, man. We got to shut it down. It's this short-term pleasure. That's all it is. Our society is so warped in that you know anything that can give me this this dopamine hit, anything that can give me this specific high for this certain amount of time is what I'm gonna delve into, and it's ultimately shallow. It's purposeless, and you wonder why. You know, you come back home 
after that experience, that great experience that you had, and you're just kind of looking like, damn, now it's back to my, my regular life. Right. It's just, I mean, you have no original purpose in the first place. I mean, anybody smart is, is not going to head over there in the first place, you know? Mm-hmm. Everybody that has passions and things that they want to pursue, or they're going to go ahead and stay home, meaning they're going to avoid all of that. They're going to avoid all those parties. They're going to avoid all those, mm-hmm. those daily get-togethers because they realize that they're not missing anything. They're not. Absolutely. What I'm what I'm pursuing is going to be something that is fulfilling in my mm. future. I don't care about that short term happiness. I don't care about being happy right now. As long as I get what I need to do and I get that done, and that's a, I said that's a good day. Right. I said that's a good day. You know, one percent every day is is the goal. Right, and it's very true because they would see that a lot of successful people, insofar as their money, insofar as their business, they're not having. Or they're not wanting to go out there and experience short-term pleasure because they're working on their business. They're working on themselves. Now, of course, there are exceptions. Yes, we know that there are exceptions. Okay, cool. You got me there, right? Okay, well, what about some other businessmen or successful people who want to go to Miami, but yet they're highly successful? Okay, I'm talking about generally speaking. Yes, okay. Generally speaking, a lot of men and women who are highly successful insofar as their financial status and working on themselves... They are not wanting or even have the, the, the desire to go out there because they're focusing just as, as what you said, right? Fulfilling things. Now, let's go ahead and talk about really quickly the woman. Let's go ahead and kind of give them a message of what's about to happen to them if they were to engage in casual sex. What are you actually doing to yourself? I mean, it's going to be a lot of them. You know, we're oh speaking yeah. really to our people here, to the Hispanics and to the blacks. I want to go ahead and say this. The moment you go ahead and open up yourself to a man who is from another state and he frizzes you up, just to let you know, you're going to use yourself as a means to an end for his lowly pleasure. Literally, he came into Miami and said, all right, I'm touched down. Now, who on earth can I bag up and uh, dispose whenever I'm done with her? Hey, it was great. Hopefully, we can still kick it whenever I touch down again. Hey, we ought to meet up again so I can take you out. And then hopefully, after we're done with that date, we go in the bed and, and I use you again, right? As I'm trying to use all these other girls. Just to let you know, you're going to be part of his list. And men, just the same way, you're going to be a part of her list, right? Of everybody just using each other as a means to an end. And I didn't really start to perceive that to like junior year in high school. I'm like, wow, it seems like... I'm using all these girls, right, as a means to an end. You know, that was me in my stupid state. But at the same time, I maybe feel as though they're using me as a means to an end, as I'm also part of their list as well. But it's different for me because I'm not in a committed relationship with them. No, nonetheless, you're still being used as a means to an end for their pleasure, right? That's my message to y'all is feel free. Go ahead. Go ahead and be used as a means to an end for other men's pleasure. No, and I'm glad you said go ahead because a lot of people... That think like us think that we're trying to enforce this specific lifestyle to certain people. No, we're not trying to enforce it at all. But we're just letting you know that if you do participate in those meaningless activities, then you will feel unfulfilled or there's a high potential that you will feel unfulfilled. You will regret the decision that you made because it wasn't the best decision during that specific time. But like we said, we're not forcing you to do anything. You know, go have your fun in Miami while, you know, the people who are actually trying to work towards something fulfill their goals. I mean, you're just making it easier for us. Yeah. Appreciate it. Keep going. Yeah. Go ahead. Um, Also, too, I mean, I guess we can close it out with this part. Um, I wanted to go ahead and touch on, okay, you've had your fun. You got used as a means soon in. Men, y'all guys got junk. Y'all got high. Okay, cool. You know, you probably got. (laughs) Right. Yes. You see me do it. Y'all guys got high. You probably bagged a few numbers. All right, cool. That's cool. Okay. Uh, He probably, she probably called you cute. And that made you feel some type of way, okay? <laughs> Maybe a few of y'all actually were able to um, land in a hotel and do what you did. Okay. Just as Ray said, or asked, the golden question, now what? <laughs> <laughs> now what? I, I can't. Hey, bro, I'm speechless. I'm you stumbling see, over my words. So, I, I can't even answer that for you. <laughs> I, so I don't know. <laughs> the theme of this episode, hopefully you guys catch it on, is happiness and fulfillment. Happiness. <laughs> it's like I'm teaching to them. <laughs> like they're kids. No, right. no, no, no. I'm sorry. I'm back in Miami <laughs> right, right, right. pursuing your goals. 
Spring break in Miami. Wait, wait, wait. Pursuing your goals. We don't mean to be condescending, okay? Happiness, right? You acquire it, you know, depending on however you want to acquire it, cool. You acquire it. Now it goes down. Now you're back to your normal life. Are y'all guys happy? Are, are y'all guys fulfilled? Perhaps not because y'all guys are going out of y'all's way to a whole other state to acquire happiness in another land. It just mind boggles me that that is... That we have to sit here and kind of say, hey, guys, let's think about this for a moment. Please. Oh, nope, you don't want to. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Can't, can't control you. Go ahead. All right, guys, this is the Shays <laughs> podcast. Ray, I don't, I can't even look at them right now. I just, I just feel a disturbance. <laughs> I feel a disturbance. I feel like a lot of you guys are still. <laughs> you got me knocking on my microphone. <laughs> a lot of you going to be participating in Spring Break in Miami, but... We, as a safe podcast, including Carla as yes. well, we're pursuing this message onto you guys to let you know that that is a meaningless activity that you should not delve into. But like I said, we can't control you. Um, we're just giving a suggestion uh-huh. and a warning. But with that being said, this is the Shades Podcast. We appreciate you guys for tuning in. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe for more. And peace out. Peace out.